this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and here we have the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga. Now, this is not our review of that product. We have a separate video review, so you can just learn everything about it. This is one that we're especially looking at the pen. It comes with a digital pen. Two versions of this Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga, one with the pen, one without the pen. So make sure you get the one that you want. Obviously, this is the one with the pen. And we're going to test it out. It has a Wacom Active Digitizer, so you can use Wacom pens with it. And just as a quick recap, it's a yoga style convertible. Keyboard on the bottom here, the lock and lift style so the keys don't move. 12.5 inch full HD IPS display converts into a regular notebook too. Fourth generation Intel has well inside. And we're going to test out the pen now. First off, the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga has a Wacom digitizer and you'll have to download the Wacom Feel It drivers from Wacom's website if you want pressure sensitivity in applications that use WinTab. For pressure sensitivity, that means Adobe Photoshop, all the Adobe applications, Corel Painter, you get the idea. If you're using something that uses the modern Windows Ink API, you don't need to do anything at all. Right now we're in Fresh Paint. That's an example. It's a free paint application. It's available from the Microsoft App Store, and Microsoft makes it themselves. And we would expect it to work here, and of course it does. So they give you this nice little bird to start with, and I've been painting it in and filling it in. And we're using a green pen, just so you can see what it looks like right there. Pressure sensitivity, obviously the line is thin when I press lightly gets fatter. We're doing a kind of watercolor thing right now, so you have the watercolor effect. Tracking pretty pretty accurately. I did have to use Wacom's calibration setup that will appear in control panels after you installed the driver, but once you do that, the tracking is pretty accurate. And while we have a fairly white canvas here, we'll take a look at how close to the edges we can get. We can get right against the edges here. The top edge is the most limited. You can get you can still get to the edge but that's a, an issue with Wacom, not with this particular product. We've seen the same thing on Surface Pro 2, where the very top edge, you can get to the edge of your canvas, but sometimes top menus, you have to work a little to manipulate them. Again, on the sides over here, bottom over here. So the edge tracking is actually pretty accurate, staying with my stylus, or pen rather. And we've got that going all the way around. Now you can use any Wacom tablet PC friendly print that includes the Surface Pro 2 if you want because let's face it this is pretty dinky. It's small so they can fit it into the housing but if you're going to be using this for days on end you're going to say well this is a little bit cramped. It does have a button here. The end does not f function as an automatic eraser on this but right here I have a tablet PC Wacom pen and I'm switching over to that. Now if you switch pens you may have to recalibrate. That's just the way Wacom is. But this one's actually working pretty well, too. And I like this one because I've got a nice soft felt nib on here. It feels more natural for painting, not so much for writing. So obviously this is working just fine with pressure sensitivity and fresh paint. So let's take a look at Adobe Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS6 right here. Here's our little kitty drawing. I have enabled pressure sensitivity in the brush settings here. And we have, again, good tracking there. As ever with Wacom, it's never always exactly under the tip, but it's pretty good, even with the pen tilt that's working. You can see the difference in the lines. And we have palm rejection, that's standard for all these active digitizers right here, so I can rest my hand on the screen while I outline the kitty's back. So good pressure sensitivity. Now, when this first came out, there was a problem with a dead zone, and Lenovo has fixed that happily with the driver update, and we have that installed here, so we don't have any dead zones, any place that we want to draw all the way across the screen. We'll make this canvas even bigger so we can see that. So now we're filling up more of our screen here, and it's just fine. And in terms of tracking speed, you can see for pen latency. I'm going very fast right here. It's keeping up pretty well. That's very good. And we're getting nice smooth circles too. So for artwork, for you people who are using Manga, if you're using Photoshop to draw and paint in, Corel Painter, Paint Tool SAI, any of those things, this is a go and it's quite pleasant. This is a three and a half pound tablet, so keep in mind you're probably going to want to rest this on your leg on a table. Because of the neat angles you can get out of this. You can actually prop it up if you like. This is kind of more natural for, for brush painting where you tend to stand away and paint at a distance. It's nice. For those of you who are sketching, it might be a little weird. It's not that stiff. If you rest your hand on this, you'll get some bouncing on it. So what about for your note takers? We're going to take a look at OneNote. We're going to use the free edition that's available from the Microsoft Store here.
So here we are inside of OneNote. Works just fine, keeps up. And I'm running as fast as I can. Absolutely no problem. So for note takers, also very nice. And that's good speed there. And even if you fill up a page with text, this is a nice fast processor. It's going to be able to keep up with you when you're taking notes. So lastly, we're going to look at PDF annotation. First, we're going to test out Adobe Reader. This comes with Nitro PDF, by the way, that also supports annotation if you want. So I'm just moving through here to find a page that I might want to annotate. And I can do my highlighting right there if I want to. Not a problem at all with this. We have digital signature support that's built into Adobe Reader as well. So how about if we open up a Microsoft Reader, which is part of the operating system now. And so here we are in Microsoft Reader where I'm making an absolute mess of this. You can circle anything that you want. You can annotate. You can rest your hand on the screen while you say something illegible like I'm doing right now as if I was really annotating a document. So there you go. MS Office, Adobe, Art Applications. It's all a go. It behaves very nicely. Pen tracking is fairly accurate as Wacom goes. They, like I said, they can often be off just a bit with the dot that appears where your stylus actually is. Keep calibrating to get that right. And I can reach up far enough to the edge right here, as you can see, to do most anything that I want. So that's the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga Pen Test with the Wacom Pen. And as you can see, it works just fine in Photoshop, in ArtRage, in Sketchbook Pro. It's going to work in everything and works in OneNote too and with PDFs. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Don't forget to watch our full review of this product, read our written review, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.